another kiwi recipe um, today I am going to be cooking chicken biryani which I know some of you have been waiting for me to do so here it goes so your ingredients are going to be two teaspoons of sunflower oil one large onion chopped which I've got here my oils over there by the oven 300 grams of chicken sliced or cut into chunks whatever you like i actually buy it like this so it's already cut into chunks and that's about 500 just because we like our chicken uh you've got one red pepper chopped um eight mushrooms sliced i've got the small ones this time so i'll probably do most of them because again i do like my mushrooms <laughs> One uh, aubergine chopped into cubes. I like mine in circles, so I'll cut mine in circles. But I've got a courgette. Uh, a teaspoon, uh, no, what was it? No, one tablespoon of curry paste, which can be mild, medium, or hot. Um, I actually like the tikka masala spice paste. Um, and last time I made this, I used most of the jar. <laughs> I think it was about three tablespoons to get the flavour and that was nice. I have used two before and it was weaker in flavour but again just depends on what you're using. One tablespoon of sultanas. I don't like sultanas so I'm not using them. Um, 300 grams of basmati or basmati. I say basmati but it's basmati I think. <laughs> Rice but this is 250 grams. Uh, then we've got peas, so you want 100 grams of frozen peas defrosted. Now guys, I use frozen, they cook fine in it. So um, yeah, you can use frozen. And a handful of fresh coriander chopped, so I've got my coriander here, which I need to chop, like everything else. Did I say carrots? Sorry guys, you need one carrot diced so again i've brought sliced carrots so i'll just use as much as i think and then you need one tablespoon of olive oil so when it comes to olive oil i'll just use the same olive uh, same oil which is the extra virgin olive oil so that's just up to you guys whether you want to use two different ones or not anyway let's crack on Add that heat up for a second, then we're going to add our onion. So we're just going to cook these for two minutes. Now we're going to add the chicken. Mm -hmm. 
and I normally cut them up smaller so obviously you can cut them to what size you like I don't like too big a bits of meat I'm going to let this cook for about I'll say three to four minutes roughly Oh, we're back in a minute guys okay guys so it's been cooking for just over five minutes so now we're going to add our carrots our mushrooms our courgette or all beans our pepper i think that's it so we'll throw the mushrooms in Let's throw a few small ones in and then I'm going to chop some up and then give it a little mix and then you want to cook that for a further sort of five minutes, stirring regularly. So we're back in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, that's been on roughly six minutes. Um, we are going to add our curry paste now and sultanas if you're doing them. So as you know, I'm not. Oh, this smells so good. Oh god, it's so nice. Right. Right, um might do might do it as four. Now I'm gonna give that a little stir. Um See what I can do with this you now, just to spread it about. Get it all mixed in really well. Get a good stir. Make sure everything is covered. Oh, I'm going to dribble with the smell, guys. Smell-o-vision. <laughs> YouTube, you've got to get smell-o-vision. Like I said, you can use whatever amount of curry paste you want to your taste, but last time I've made it and I go by the recipe, it's just not strong enough, so I've added more, and it's just how I like it. I love the taste of curry, so I want to taste it. I don't want it sort of like watered down, or not strong enough. I will be adding a little bit of water in a minute, guys, but it doesn't affect it if you put a bit more in. So... Um, next we're going to add the rice and then the, did I say boiling water? Just crushing the rice. We want 800 ml um, of boiling water. I'm just going to put the kettle on. Alright, squish my rice around, it's in a packet. Okay guys, so I'm going to add the rice. And I don't use too much of boiling water, but you, you guys can follow the recipe if you like. I don't like using too much. So I'm just going to give this a little stir. I should really get a spoon out, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's great cooking. It's great meal cooking, that is. <laughs> right, so once this is all mixed, I'm just trying to get it all. Mmm, oh, smells delish. 
Right, once this is done, um, oh, you're done. You want to turn the heat down low. You can cover it if you like. I don't. And you can cook it for about 10 minutes. Um, and then obviously if you haven't got frozen peas, you'll add them in afterwards. I'm going to add mine in now. Could just give them time to defrost in the recipe. So I'm going to stir these in guys and I'll see you in a minute. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Mwah.